Transit oriented development is when you put the highest density buildings next to transit because it has the highest land value. In America, a train station might have like a huge parking lot like this, but today we're going to try to make the most of that transit by putting dense buildings next to transit. Now to do the transit oriented development, we're going to have to make the metro system and place some roads. First things first is I want to create kind of a little bit of a road layout. In the downtown, I'm going to use a mix of these European roads here and then these custom kind of bike lanes that are created that are separated from the road. The downtown grid is going to be 12 units that way and then 10 units this way. So it's going to be like a kind of a big rectangle, I guess. That fits perfectly behind this bus station. So 12 units here. Ah, oh, it's not centered. <laughs> I'll break the grid right here at the bus station just, just to make it look fine. How much is this? This is four units. Uh, let's see. Uh, one thing that you don't want to do is build on sand. So I'm just going to use my magical powers and replace the sand with dirt. We're not going to be focusing on a waterfront today or anything. No, I also have to plan where the metro is going to go. Now, some of the metro is going to be above ground and some of it will be below ground. I think I'll focus on making the above ground one for now. I think I'm going to have a stop somewhere over here. So I'm going to bring all of this this way. All right, metro station can go probably like here-ish. I want, I feel like right here would be perfect because then you can walk to over here, over here, and over here. All of the connectivity over here. Metro stations are big, so we're going to have to destroy some stuff. Now I'm going to maybe place it right here that's nice and centered and then have it turn onto this road i got i got this mod here it's actually an asset which allows me to place these metro stations so i guess i can just place it from here to here oh wait i can't place it in the intersections so i guess i have to place it like right here and i have to worry about where i place it because if i place let's say if i just place it down right here the pillar is just like a blocking traffic so i have to make sure I'm placing it not in the middle of the road. There we go. I don't know if this curve is too harsh. I think the trains can just go really slowly around here. All right, so I'm gonna connect that there. Now, the thing about these kind of like train stations, they always look really wonky in the vanilla game, but I just like to open node controller and just bring these back. I just feel like it looks a lot better. I'm going to expand the grid this way. And so we have more areas to do stuff there. Now I am going to have these roads go over. <laughs> these bridges are <laughs> not going to work here. I mean, obviously not all of it's going to be skyscrapers and high density. I'm going to try for most of that just to be right next to the transit, the <laughs> transit oriented development. All right, so we got the second part done. Let's go see where I'm going to have the transit. I'll, I'll just use whatever station is smaller. This one's pretty big. I think this one is slightly smaller. Now we do also have these metro stations from Content Creator Pack. Oh, that, that's actually really nice. Here, I'll just use this one. I'm placing it in the middle of the road so it doesn't like block. This would be rather tough for cars to get through. I don't know if your Ford F-150 is gonna get you through that. There you go, nice connection. I'm also going to place another one of these heading this way. Kind of like this. This over here is gonna be kind of like a hub of all the transit of sorts. I don't know if this is a realistic turn. I I hope that's not that trip. You know what, let's see. Let's go let's go and Google Earth. Alright, New York, New York, New York. Okay, well it does seem like it can turn quite a bit. Not an insane amount, but decent amount. I think I'm going to make this less less drastic. I think a reasonable turn is something like that. You know, I'm not even going to use the tracks for this segment over here, the special tracks. I'm just going to place it. I'm going to keep it on this side and then turn and then connect. I'm going to add the grid over here and that'll be kind of the last kind of area of expansion. And then we can get onto the transit oriented development. And then I'll have the final train station right here. I don't think I've used this design yet, so I'm gonna use it. I'll have it curve across to this road here. And then on this road, I'll have this lovely little track thing. Oh, why is this 12 units? <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, 16. Now I'm also gonna build a little bit of a grid next to these stations here so we can get started on the transit oriented development. Our standard 12 by 10. Oh, I think I built this modular train station incorrectly in the last episode. It needs an end part. I just have to add this to it. Yeah, connecting should be rather simple. What if I just connect it to this one? I hope that's not a problem. There, then then it's just connected to this one. It still goes to the same spot. Let's go like that. Let's go, oh, we can't go 12. Let's go 10 out. This is not gonna make a big deal. How long is this? This is 15. How about if I just do another 15? What if this just goes up? 12 units, that's high enough. Crosses here and goes back down. You know what, how about if I just use mods to like fix this? Is that possible? 
nice curve and use even more mods to flatten it. Make that a bridge, looks nice. Yeah, then I also need to make a grid over here to find, oh, what's this? Construction, I don't care about the construction cost, bucko. That's 32 units, I us do it at 16. Is it 16? Yes. All right, so to get started with transit-oriented development, I'm just going to zone the areas where it's going to be extra dense because it's next to transit. Now I'm going to do some districts here. Now I can see back here that there is like, you're meant to walk. Maybe I could just place that there so people can just walk out of either side instead of having this road. Do the zoning here and here and then here and then here and here also here and then I'm going to fill in everything that's not going to be as high density but still in our downtown as like a different district also this is, <laughs> this is pretty big I am like a perfectionist when it comes to this type of zoning stuff at least compared to some of the people I know so right now I'm just zoning in what I want kind of high density to be but not super high density because it's not extra transit it's just going to be like different policies and zoning that I will enforce that with now it doesn't like necessarily need to be the same exact district but that's what I'm doing. Alright there you go everything is zoned in. Now I'm going to start by giving all of these areas around the transit stop IT cluster because so those buildings are huge. The zoning that is everything but where our transit is I'm going to give the style of modern city center because those buildings aren't super tall. And I'm also going to do wall-to-wall -wall offices and wall to wall residential. Now for the density around the train station, it's going to be a mix of commercial and office. I'll also sprinkle in some residential in there to make it like mixed use and stuff, but mostly commercial and office just because they have the most need to be near trains. I wish we could do mixed use in city scan, so that'd be awesome. Okay, I need to turn on district zones because that's going to be really helpful here. Kind of something like this. All right, there we go. It's like a good mix between commercial, residential, and office. So I'm just going to do that kind of zoning like everywhere because I, I want to make this a little special. I'm going to leave the section right next to the bus area here open so I can do some like nice uh, maybe landscaping or something someday. Now my city has a lot more demand for commercial and office so I'm going to be doing that more. But also office just has super high buildings so that's just really nice. I also like doing commercial more because commercial attracts more attention and I like that near the transit areas so people use transit more. All right, now to Barlow Hills. I saw, I saw some really great suggestions for names in the comments. I'll name a bunch of stuff later in the episode, but keep leaving, uh, keep leaving comments about that because I will 100% include those names. Or Park, a very exciting name. Yeah, I do not want zoning here. I'm just gonna have like a bunch of like one by one dino oils or something like that. All right, there we go. Now the area is not next to transit is mostly just going to be a uh, regular residential, but I'm not going to do that right now. Right now, I'm just going to add in services first so we can kind of unpause the game. I'm going to do some nice expensive schools so we can do like the community schools. So this is uh, elementary, do another elementary over here. Uh, I might even do the high capacity one. Those are always nice. I'm gonna place them close to transit, but not like too close. Like they're not the most important thing in the world, but they are really important. Then high schools, about the same amount of those. Maybe mix it up, maybe we can do the regular high school too. And then uh, university. I'm gonna put it right here, next to the train station. Now, I think if I build a road underneath, the coverage will expand. Also, I just noticed this horrible, horrible thing right here. We got a metro and a roller coaster in one. And now we can do, uh, we could actually do this high capacity power station. Now, you, now over here, this bridge has a lot of connectivity to the entire area. So I'm gonna place a lot of our services right here. I'm going to create a little complex. I'm going to have a one-way road going in. It's going to turn left and then it's going to have a, a fire station. I'm actually going to replace it so I can get more precise. Now this way it's going to be the new hospital and I'm going to place a police station right up the big one right there. Okay, now we have a little complex of all our little services. We also do need to take care of trash. So we could have a little bit of a, of kind of a more industrial-ish area over here. Now this area is also going to be industrial because I'm also going to add a tiny little area for cargo. It's gonna be really small, but I'm just gonna have it come off of here like that and just head this way. Now I'll open this and screw everything back. Actually, no, I won't screw it back. I'll go into here and delete the node. 
just an extra node here. Then I'll go back into node controller and scoot it back. Everything gets scooted back a little. Then I'll remove this and I'll replace the cargo train terminal. I'll use move it to move it where I want it. Uh, there's about good. I'm going to use these industrial roads because they look kind of cool and they're cheaper. Barely. And then I'm going to place two recycling centers. You know what? I'm going to make it four because we're going to need a lot of garbage. And then we have our tiny little industrial area. I'll put a tiny bit of industrial there just to fill up the awkward space. And then I'll have this connect up here. It's far away from anything useful, but really good access to the entire city. I can see things have started to zone in and geez, are they tall. <laughs> Man, these IT cluster buildings are huge. Now, regular buildings would get taller as the land value increases, which was what I was trying to do, but IT cluster buildings are just absolutely huge all the time. Now, I guess I can let it zone in. Why not, right? Oh, wait, might need some water. That is, that's kind of important. Oh no, I made the road layout. So it is just not gonna work if I wanna place it underneath the road. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to place it underneath every road. Wait, I don't, I don't know why I'm deleting this. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, it's just barely too far. Uh, okay, here, I'll go down every road, fine. The sound is actually really nice though. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be satisfying. Oh, <laughs> all right, take two, this is gonna be satisfying. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh, I keep missing them. Electricity, I don't know how this is gonna work. Mm. Connect this along the train lines. Ah, I don't know. Okay, so placing that connects all three of those. And then I can place this, go around the outside, connect that, connect that. This should connect the, these two. This connects this. Maybe I can connect it from here out here. Okay, and these can just get connected to here. Hopefully that's, yep, that's good. All right, all the power is connected. All right, I can resume the game, I guess. Oh, we're losing money. Oh my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna place down a bunch of parks, increase land value and all that. Oh, we are in the red. We have no zoning. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're running out of goods to sell over here. Oh, we got to connect it to the main thing. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. 34 million on transit. Oh, in the green. $180 a week. Now, I'm just going to wait for this to zone in. Now, as we wait for this to zone in, I'm going to create buses. Now, I'm not going to have transit-oriented development around buses, because really everywhere should have buses, not just a specific place. All right, first line will be from train station. To here, to there, to here, to here, to here, to here. Stop by the metro station here and back okay next line will be kind of similar from here to to here to here to here to here to here and back next line will be from here to here to here to here to the train station to here to here and back next line will be from here to here to here to here actually not there to the train station then to here 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 and back all right so after letting the game run a little bit uh everything's kind of zoned in now i'll talk more about that later but first i'll address some comments uh uh, this guy says uh, trains can't really do angles that I had before and make sure the tracks are on one side of the station and not centered. Before it would look something like this and now it looks something like this which is a lot better. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name but he's just his hometown of Leonding for uh, the name of districts. So I have named all the districts uh, after some sort of Leonding. The idea I had was everything here is going to be Leonding. And they're just gonna have like different sections of Leonding. So this is Leonding Grand Central, Leonding South, South, North, West. The district that has everything is just gonna be downtown. Now this guy says that the kind of like two stop trains that we had in the last video that went from like one over here to like over here. In the Netherlands they have them called inner cities. So I changed the names. So I changed all the names of those to inner cities and also kind of the more local ones that make stops like here, here, here. They're going to be called sprinters. So I also changed uh, these to sprinters and these to inner city. Oh yeah, and I'll do the mod list, I promise. I'll have it later soon, all right. Now on to uh, the city that we made. It's done zoning in, all the metros are there. Here are all the bus lines and metro lines. They go pretty much everywhere. I don't see any traffic because everyone's probably just using public transportation. Tons of people are using the transit though, like we have a lot of like people waiting and stuff and buses too, really great use. 
And at the beginning of the video, we we're getting about 4 million in income of transit. Now we're getting about 10 million, so that's really nice. Land value is really high. Uh, not as high as over here, but then probably will come the highest land value of the entire city.